Some people with breathing problems need to inhale medicine into their lungs. Inhaled medicines can be delivered by a device called a nebulizer or by a variety of devices called inhalers. This video will show you how to use one dry powder inhaler called the handy inhaler. The handy inhaler delivers a medicine called teotropium, which is also known as spiriva. The teotropium handy inhaler is used for a lung disease called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. This inhaler will help prevent bronchospasm. This is a narrowing of the airways that happens with COPD. It also will reduce COPD-related flare-ups, such as coughing, wheezing, or shortness of breath. And it will help your lungs work better, so you'll be able to breathe easier. Remember that the hand inhaler is not a rescue inhaler. Rescue inhalers give relief right away to someone who is having a sudden breathing problem. Your doctor or pharmacist can tell you more about rescue inhalers if you need one. When you get your hand inhaler, check the expiration date to make sure the medicine isn't expired. The hand inhaler comes in one piece. There's a cap that protects the hand inhaler from dust or lint. The mouthpiece that the medicine comes out of. There's the base the center chamber, and the piercing button, which is green. To use the handy inhaler, carefully remove one capsule from the pack. Fold the foil where the arrow shows you to and peel it back so you can take out the capsule. Don't cut the foil or use a sharp instrument to take the capsule out of the pack. That could damage the capsule. Remember, these capsules should not be swallowed. They're for use only in the handy inhaler. Put just one capsule into the handy inhaler. To do this, press the green piercing button. This releases the dust cap. Lift the mouthpiece to reveal the center chamber. Place the medicine capsule in the chamber. Then close the mouthpiece. You'll be able to feel and hear a click when the mouthpiece is in place. The dust cap remains open. Hold the handy inhaler device pointing up. Push the green piercing button again, then release it. This punches holes in the capsule, so the medicine is ready to breathe in. Hold the hand inhaler upright and try not to shake it. Breathe in deeply, then breathe out, making as much room in your lungs as you can. Lift the inhaler to your mouth and place your lips tightly around the mouthpiece. Be careful not to cover the air holes. Now breathe in deeply until you have a full breath. Hold your breath for 10 seconds or as long as you can. Take the mouthpiece out of your mouth, then exhale slowly. Then repeat the process one more time using the same capsule already inside the handy inhaler. This is just to make sure you have inhaled all of the medicine. And that's all there is to it. Open the mouthpiece and tip out the used capsule, without touching it, into the trash can. The only thing left to do is clean the handy inhaler. Look to see if there are remaining capsule pieces or a buildup of powder. If you see any, turn the device over and tap it gently to remove them. Then rinse the whole thing with water. While rinsing, push the green button a few times. Don't put the handy inhaler device in the dishwasher. Let the handy inhaler air dry overnight, leaving the dust cap, mouthpiece, and base open. Keep the handy inhaler someplace dry that stays at a comfortable temperature. A kitchen cabinet might be a good spot. It won't get too hot or too cold. It stays dry, and it's up and away from children and pets. When you follow the steps we've shown you today, the handy inhaler will do exactly what it's supposed to do deliver the right amount of medicine every time to help you breathe easier.